And hello again, YouTube. This is uh, this is a glorious moment where I ride off into the sunset. Yeah, not really. I am catching the tail end of a nice looking sunset, though. So it's uh, still Wednesday, September 7th, 2022, 6.58 p.m. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm running late for work. Whoops. Um, it's, it's my fault. It is. Um, got distracted at home by uh, absolutely the best thing I could have possibly got distracted at home by. Oh shit. And I just realized I don't have enough gas to get to, to work. <laughs> wow. You know, I knew I needed to get gas today and it was like the last thing on my mind. Well, on the bright side, I guess I got to check out that new QT over at uh, that new QT I've been wanting to check out over at Twenty uh, Fourth Street, uh, just north of Loop Two Hundred Two. You know, and I was thinking about stopping on my way home this morning at, at Costco and topping off, and I was just like, "No, nah, I'm too tired. Screw it." And, and then and. I don't know, I want to say it was probably about 6.30 in the morning when I was rolling by on Oak, by the, by the Costco, and just the lines for the pumps were already pretty, pretty big, and it was just like, uh, nope, nope, not happening. Oh well. Oh well, I use a few minutes of PTO to, uh, <coughs> to cover it, I'll be alright. I don't have enough PTO to blow off a, an entire ship, but I certainly have enough to cover being uh, 15 or 20 minutes late, however late I'm going to end up being. It would have been a lot better if I'd already topped off my dang gas tank, but that's all right. The, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the bedroom fun I just got done with was uh, very, very long overdue, and it was... Um, uh, actually, the best it's been in a long time, so yay. Um, yay, that happened. All right. I'm not quite sure where the entrance to this QT is. That guy was pulling way forward into the intersection to turn left. Kind of encroaching on my space. There better be an entrance from this street. Oh no, you guys didn't. <sighs> QT did not make an entrance from that street. Wow. I wonder how much extra traffic is now going into this neighborhood from people turning there, thinking they can get into the QT like I did. And then not being able to get in. And then uh, going through the neighborhood here, trying to get back to the QT. I can't be the first person that just made that mistake, especially since that's a brand new QT. Anyway, I don't think I'll be making that mistake again. I usually tend to learn from my mistakes, at least, little, at least the ones that involve uh, driving routes. And just, all I can think about is, is getting my... Uh, Getting my uh, getting my forklift retraining tonight and getting back on a forklift. I am I've I've uh, kind of missed that more than uh, what I just got done doing. Um, all right, trying to figure out which pump I want to go to. Been waiting quite a while for this QT to open. It's looking pretty busy. going for the pump I want. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, that guy's trailer's kind of half blocking it. That's right. My pump. Oh, it's out of order. Okay, that sucks.
It's not, oh, that whole pump is out of order. Both sides are better out of order. Oh, this sucks. How can your pumps be out of order at a brand new station? Nice to see an employee out here cleaning it, though. Looks like he's wearing exactly the same type of uh, um, safety vest that uh, Amazon uses. Anyway, I'm just gonna pause this. I, I was I was kind of hoping to park myself in a way where I was facing the store and maybe maybe get some footage of some riffraff riffraff walking in and out. But uh, yeah, nothing to see here. So I'll be right back. And I am back. Uh, 7:06 p.m. now. And uh, yeah, I'm officially late to work. But hey, I got gas. I didn't get much. Just, uh, I forget how many gallons, but a little bit over 10 bucks. 409 a gallon here. I would imagine that's that's a little bit higher than average price. QT always seems to be a little bit on the high side. But at this point, I just it's it's just all about time. I don't have time to be wasting. I just need to get off the freeway, get on the freeway, and not spend um, not do any more driving than I had to because I was pretty much on fumes. So um, anyway, that's yeah, first time I've been into that QT, and a little disappointed I didn't actually go into the QT. I just made it to Palm. So. But I do intend to go inside it soon. Um, to be fair, I didn't really notice any riffraff in front of it, which surprises me because you'd think, uh, you know, 24th Street just south of McDowell uh, would be kind of like a magnet for that. And certainly the, uh, the Circle K there at 24th Street and McDowell seems to have more than its share of unsavory characters of loiter in front of it. But uh, no, uh, QT, really, really nice and clean. And it was a. Uh, uh, employee actually wiping down the pump, which honestly the pump looked clean to me already, but just nice to see they're putting that much effort into keeping it a nice, clean new store. Um, so, uh, so yeah, the, the word the word today is I'm gonna gonna get my uh, retraining for being a forklift driver as long as whatever the piece of uh, construction equipment or whatever kind of heavy equipment that was left in the pit training area got moved today by somebody on day shift. Of course, I have no way of knowing whether that's done. I'm not going to know until I get there. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, not going to not gonna know until I get there. Uh, so my agenda is just to head in the building. Wow, that guy has got his lights off guy ahead of me, just past me in the lane to my left. He is tailgating with no headlights on. That is brilliant. Directly ahead of me, no headlights, no taillights. And tailgating. Looks like we got some tailgater action going on in the HOV lane as well. Which actually isn't uh, functioning in HOV lane uh, right now. It's uh, the um, carpool lanes on freeways in Phoenix are all day parted, so they're only uh, only enforced as carpool lanes. And I use the term enforced really loosely, by the way, because uh, there's not much enforcement on Phoenix freeways these days. But they're only enforced as carpool lanes. Um, I want to say 6 to 9 a.m. and then 3 to 7 p.m. Um, so it's uh, 7 10 now. So it's been the lane's been free and available for everybody for 10 minutes. So I can't believe this vehicle on the right hasn't noticed that he doesn't have any lights on. Like he's, he's passing on the right in a lane that's about to end. Just, driving in darkness. It doesn't even look like he has daytime running lights. I mean, shoot, I'm looking at my video screen. I can barely, barely even see him in the video. I can't imagine being that oblivious to my driving. And he's a tailgate. 
tail, I think there's a tailgater too. Come on, dude, turn on your headlights, it's dark. Now, looks like he's headed to I-17 North. I'm gonna change lanes, try to get around this bus here. In moments like this, I really wish that the uh, the uh, 79th Avenue overpass uh, connected to 79th Avenue south of I-10. It's, uh, since it's after 7 right now, it'd be a great time to use that left exit and just get into the warehouse a little bit, a little bit quicker in that direction. But not an option, unfortunately. Yeah, I kept saying I was going to write letters to uh, ADOT, the city of Phoenix, asking them if they were ever going to finish that. And I never got around to doing that. I, I always think about writing letters to government agencies and stuff regarding things like that. And, uh, I, I never do. <laughs> think about it. Grandiose plans, but, you know, there's never really time for that. It's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm kind of glancing up at my screen as it's recording right now. And the... Uh, the brightness of the sky in my uh, in my view screen is a lot brighter than the sky actually is. I mean, a lot brighter. It's it's nearly dark and it looks kind of light on the video. At least that's how it looks on my screen. Um, yeah, that guy was driving with no headlights. It's, it's definitely driving with no headlights in darkness. It's, it's not an issue, but it's still kind of light outside. It most definitely is not. Thank you. 